Hi, I'm Jennifer Chen. I'm going to tell you about our technical note in the Journal of Dairy Science, Comparison of Instantaneous Sampling and Continuous Observation of Dairy Cattle Behavior in Freestall Housing. When recording animal behavior, the gold standard is to use continuous observation to determine the precise start and end times of each behavioral occurrence, known as a behavioral bout. Continuous observation allows for determining how frequently and for how long an animal performs a given behavior. A labor-saving alternative to continuous observation is to categorize which behavior an animal is performing at fixed time intervals, which is known as instantaneous sampling. The objective of this study was to validate how accurately instantaneous sampling would capture various dairy cattle behaviors in freestall housing compared to continuous observation. The behaviors we evaluated were lying down, and visiting the feed bunk, and the water trough. We predicted that more frequent sampling would be needed to accurately reflect behaviors cows spent less time performing, and also that instantaneous sampling would underestimate the number of times cows perform behaviors that often occurred in short bouts or with short intervals between bouts, as these events might fall between samples. We used 18 high-producing lactating Holstein cows, which were housed in pairs in warm and dry conditions. We compared two approaches to managing heat abatement, with or without sprinklers, as this affects how long and how frequently cows visit the feed bunk and water trough. The sprinklers were mounted above the feed bunk, which was shaded, and the spray turned on and off intermittently 24 hours a day. We used 24-hour surveillance video to gather behavioral data for two days per treatment. We converted the continuous data to samples at one-second intervals using the PROC expand function in SAS software. We then extrapolated instantaneous samples for seven intervals, 30 seconds, and 1, 3, 5, 10, 15, and 30 minutes. We converted these samples to the total duration and number of bouts or visits in each 48-hour treatment period using the PROC means function in SAS. Our code can be viewed online in the supplemental materials of our paper. To evaluate the accuracy of each sampling interval, we conducted pairwise comparisons between the true values from the one-second samples and those generated from the 30-second to 30-minute sample intervals using linear regressions. A sample interval was considered to accurately reflect true values if it met three criteria. The coefficient of determination was at least 0.9, the slope of the relationship did not differ significantly from 1, and the intercept did not differ significantly from 0. All sample intervals between 30 seconds and 30 minutes accurately reflected the total amount of time cows spent lying in both treatments. This is likely because lying comprises approximately half of the daily time budget and occurs in long bouts in freestall housing, for over an hour on average. Sample intervals up to 3 minutes accurately captured the number of lying bouts but more frequent sampling may be needed in other situations where cows frequently lie down for brief periods or stand up again soon after lying down. Sample intervals up to 10 and 30 minutes accurately estimated the total amount of time cows spent at the water trough in the sprinkler and control treatments respectively. This difference was likely because cows spent 30% more time visiting the water trough when they lacked access to sprinklers. However, in general, instantaneous sampling underestimated the number of times cows visited this resource, likely because a high proportion of visits and intervals between visits were short, and therefore fell between samples. Sample intervals up to 15 and 5 minutes accurately estimated the total amount of time cows spent at the feed bunk in the sprinkler and control treatments respectively. This difference was likely because cows spent 19% longer in each visit to the feed bunk when they had sprinklers. However, instantaneous sampling underestimated the number of times cows visited the feed bunk, likely because they frequently returned to the area after leaving only briefly. When cows are standing at the feed bunk, their behavior can be examined more specifically in terms of whether their heads are past the feed barrier and whether they are actively manipulating the feed. Sampling intervals up to 5 and 10 minutes accurately captured how long cows spent with their heads past the feed barrier in the sprinkler and control treatments respectively but the use of instantaneous sampling to capture other aspects of behavior at the feed bunk requires further validation. In conclusion, sample intervals up to five minutes accurately captured how much time cows spent performing all of the behaviors we evaluated. But more frequent sampling or continuous observation is needed to determine the number of occurrences of each behavior.